In this bag is North America's fastest snake. I'm gonna take it out. We're gonna see if it's gonna bite me. I use only the finest pillowcases. This pillowcase is probably 600 thread count, maybe 700 thread count, Egyptian cotton. The snake is ready to go. Look at this. That in this bag is the Eastern Coach Whip. And you know what? They're known to bite right in the face. They may even be able to smell your fear. No, they can't smell your fear. Ah, yeah, ah, there it goes, it bit me. Okay, oh my gosh, is it going to bite me in the face? And there it is. <laughs> this is what makes these snakes so fun, because you know what? They do actually try to bite you in the face. You know what, let's see if it actually bites my hand. Let me get closer to it. Look at that. Whoa, see it tried to bite me in the face. So apparently this snake knows my face is right here. Let me try this again. Oh, there it goes. But you see, that's not even, that's like a love tap. It did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. Either way, this is America's fastest snake. And you know what we're gonna do? We are gonna photograph it. Well, I say we, you're gonna watch me photograph it and I'm gonna photograph it if that makes sense. But as you can see, the snake's chilling out. The snake probably knows that I'm not gonna eat it now. And it's also kind of chilly out here. We're in the 60s, so it's, it's a good time to photograph it. Nice and overcast and cool. So let's do it. All right, so as I said earlier, it's nice and overcast out here. So I think this snake is gonna chill out nice. Oh no. See, this is what they do. They get scared and then they musk and poop on you. It's just proof that snakes are actually scared of you. They think you're gonna eat them. This snake is kind of calm now. Let's take photos of it. And I don't know, what do I, this gross. Now, as I said before, this is a very fast snake. And you kind of want to pose it. They do chill out quickly once you catch them and once you're handling them. So I just want to pose this snake and kind of a cool looking look and be really ready it is chilly out here so hopefully it won't be that fast that grass is in the way I really like getting head and eye shots of this snake because you know what there's something about the eyes and you can just tell that this snake is an intelligent snake. The coach whip is an active hunter, so it's not like a viper that's just sitting and waiting for prey to come at it. It's actively searching for lizards, other snakes, mice, and a bunch of other things that it eats. It eats a wide variety of things. What a pretty snake. You know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to get his head somewhat lifted up. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna use a stick instead of my hand. This snake's like, you know what, it's cold. Why are you doing this to me? There you go. Just stay lifted up, buddy. Now we're gonna test something out. I heard coach whips are very fast and they chase you. So we're gonna go ahead and get the snake to chase us. And when I feel that the snake is chasing me, I'm gonna go ahead and fall down and act like I'm playing dead. Now the snake will make sure you're dead. It's gonna come over there and put its tail right by your nose to check to see if you're still breathing. I've never seen this happen, so we're gonna go ahead and test this myth out. But before we do this, we need to do something to make the snake mad. And I got just a thing. Mr. Coach Whip Snake, black racers are more superior and smarter than Coach Whips. Did that do it? Oh, I see. I see some building up. 